Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you exclusive details. Well not exclusive, recent release details on the Festival of the Lost. The loot it offers, the things we'll be able to do and much much more. But before we get into the video guys, if you do enjoy it, leave a like really helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so bungie not long just dropped some information on the festival of the lust we're gonna go through all right here right now quoting bungie the festival of the lust begins for all players of destiny 2 on tuesday october 16th which is next tuesday people weekly reset light in the dark no one has heard from Eva Levante since the city fell. Shipwright Amanda Holiday has stepped up to raise everyone's spirits. Thanks to her, the tower is filled as memories good and bittersweet fill our hearts. New triumphs will be available for you to earn and Holiday will offer daily bounties that reward fragmented souls these items can be used to purchase Festival of the Lost masks, as well as the Horror Story Legendary Auto Rifle, which looks pretty damn cool. But even with the tower illuminated by spooky violet candles, there's always something scary lurking just out of sight. Fear and fright. This year, Festival of the Lost brings more than just masks. For a limited time, all players of Destiny 2 are invited to the Haunted Forest. Guardians have been tasked with clearing out its ghouls and demons which are spooking up a storm. You'll have 15 minutes to dive as deep as you can into the haunted forest and clear out the nightmares lying in wait. Be wary, the deeper you go, the more difficult your job will become. Sounds pretty cool. You jump into the dark as a solo player with a pre-made fire team or through matchmaking to join other guardians in the fight on the case. Most players of Forsaken have already won justice for K6, but near the conclusion of the Festival of the Lost, they will be called once again to avenge a fallen friend. Master Ives has been struck down. Now, Master Ives, I believe, was the cryptarch from the Reef from Destiny 1, if you guys remember him. Maybe someone wanted to settle an old score or lost their temper when receiving an edge transit. That's probably the case. Whatever provoked the wrongdoing, justice must be served. The pursuit of Master Ives killers will take place through a questline, which adds an additional powerful reward for you to earn each week. The hunt begins on Tuesday, October 30th. Pretty damn cool. Treats for all. Alongside the Festival of the Last Rewards from Amanda Holiday and the Festival of the Last Triumphs, players will earn an ephemeral engram every time they fill their XP bar after receiving the max character level. Players will receive this engram in addition to the Steadfast engram, which effectively awards players double bright engrams for the duration of the Festival of the Lost. Players may also purchase ephemeral engrams from Tess Everest in the tower if they so choose. And we see a image on screen now of some of the loot obtainable from these new Festival of the Lost engrams. And they look absolutely amazing. Look at that gold shell kitty cat with the ears and the whiskers. Absolutely epic. Can't wait to get that. Tests will also feature rewards from the ephemeral engram on the Bright Dust store throughout the event for those wishing to purchase specific items directly. And we see two emotes on screen now. The one with the guitar looks pretty badass, not gonna lie. The Festival of the Last begins on Tuesday, October 16th and concludes 10am PST on Tuesday, November 6th. So I've got quite a while to farm this event. It's gonna be pretty damn cool, to be honest. Not gonna lie, I expected a little bit more, but we don't know exactly what we're gonna be getting. So we will have to wait and see, but some of the loot looks absolutely epic and I can't wait to see more. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you want to check out the full blog posted by Bungie, you'll find it linked within the video description. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.